Hello everybody, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time, my name is Fatou and I'm the face behind Afro Mom Spices. Today I'm gonna be sharing a behind the scenes of how I make my cooking videos using my iPhone. Then I'll link the final video that we recorded together in the description box. I hope you find this video helpful. If you do, give it a like, comment, and share it with your family and friends. I would really appreciate the support and if you have any questions leave them in the comments and i'll get back to you as fast as i can i hope this video is helpful and thank you for watching see you later to start off i'm going to list the gear that i use first thing i have a ring light this ring light comes with a tripod you can adjust the brightness of the ring light and also change the mood this is the one that i use the most while filming I also have a smaller tripod. I use it when I want to change the angle while filming. It gives some variety. This smaller tripod is very versatile, which is why I love it so much. If you love filming over the head videos, you can use the bigger tripod, but I don't recommend it because if you look at the frame you can see the legs for you not to see the legs you have to zoom a lot so what i do is i use the smaller one for that if you have a kitchen cabinet you can try to record right below it and place the tripod in the cabinet try to keep it still using anything heavy here i'm using spices and salt nothing fancy and it works just fine the next thing is an external hard drive. It's very important to have one because using your phone to record takes up lots of storage space. It's great for you to export all that footage after editing so that you can delete them from your phone. If you like to do voiceovers, it's good to invest in a good mic. This is the one that I have, but I only use it for my intros. I mostly play music in my videos, so that's up to you. I also have these backdrops. This one has two sides and it's my favorite. The second one has two sides as well. You don't have to get this. You can use your kitchen countertop as your background. I personally just like to switch it up sometimes. So that's why I got them. So it's totally up to you if you want to invest in these or not. When you get ready to film, you can choose to film in 4K or HD. While in the camera, you can change the quality by pressing on the HD to go to 4K. You can also film at 30 frames per second or 60. I always use HD and 30 because 4K takes up lots of space. You can also access the feature by going into your settings and then camera, and then selecting 4K if you want your videos to be in 4K. Lastly, remember to rotate your phone horizontally while filming for YouTube. Now, before I start recording, I try to gather all my ingredients first. Make sure that I have everything that I need before I start recording. Next, I set up my background, set up my ring light, my tripod, adjust the lighting, adjust the height. Another tip that I have is to put your phone on airplane mode when you're recording. Because sometimes when you get a call while recording, the video stops. Before I start recording, I try to make sure that my phone is in HD mode. Turn it horizontally and then place it on the tripod. If you look closely, you'll notice that I have clear tape around my ring light simply because it fell and broke a few weeks ago and I use clear tape to keep it together. And it still works the same, so I haven't bothered to get a new one. Now I'm just playing with the temperature to see what works best, what I like, what I don't. Zoom in, zoom out till I get the perfect shot. To keep the backdrop laying flat, I use something heavy like the kitchen knives holder or water bottles. 
and then I start recording. Sometimes I do many takes because I don't like the first one. So just make sure that you check before you finalize or you move on to the next step. Because sometimes when you're done recording something, you can't come back to it. As you can see here with the potatoes, I had to do two takes. You'll see that the temperature is different from the first one to the second one. Just know that the more videos you record, the better you get at recording videos. It takes a lot of practice. I also try to clean as I go, however that can be challenging at times because if you focus too much on cleaning, you may miss a step. Certain recipes require more attention on your part than others. So clean your space but try to stay on track and not forget to record a step because you were busy cleaning. You can always clean when you're done recording. At this point, I've switched to the smaller tripod to get a different angle. Here I'm filming b-roll and I'm taking pictures. I try to take pictures for my thumbnail during the cooking process and at the end. Then I go over them and see which one I like better. By the way, I'm using an iPhone 10 to record the recipe. So whenever you guys check out the recipe, know that it was recorded using an iPhone 10. However, this video itself was recorded using an iPhone 12. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like the video. I'll link all the gear that I mentioned in this video in the description box. So check the description box for more information. At this point, I'm taking pictures, pictures for my thumbnail, for my social media accounts, and then I make videos for my Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. For people who want to film cooking videos, just know that it involves a lot of work. And also after cooking, you most likely have a lot of mess or dishes in the kitchen. For me, for instance, a recipe that normally takes me about two hours, takes me four hours on filming day. And that's without the editing, working on thumbnails, and doing all the things that are required for uploading a video on YouTube. So just make sure that it's something that you really love before you spend money on gear and all those kind of things. This is the final result of what we recorded today. The recipe will be linked in the description box. You can check it out. And if you like it, let me know. So it was really easy, simple. You can make it your own, you can change the recipes as you like. If you liked this video and you found it helpful, let me know in the comments and please give it a like and uh, subscribe. Thank you for watching. Bye! So this is the final
final result. Yeah, yeah.